Hello all, welcome to the Tech Learners. In today's lesson, we will talk about deletion in singly linked list. In the previous lesson, we had seen the deletion, but uh, when the key is provided. In today's lesson, we will talk about deletion in singly linked list whenever you want to delete the node at a specific position. So let's see how we can do this. The deletion process can be understood in uh, this step. So let's say if we have a position and we want to delete the node at that position from the linked list. So we need to perform two steps, the step three steps. We need to perform three steps. Step number one, we'll traverse the list by counting the index of the nodes. Then for each index, we will match the index to be same as the position. If the index is equal to the position, then we simply delete the node and uh, we perform the relinking of the other node. So now any of the three conditions can be there like we had seen these three conditions in the previous lesson as well. The condition number one, if the node to be deleted is at position zero, that means the node is the head node. So what we'll be doing is we'll change the head of the node to the next node of the current head and then we'll free the memory of the replaced head node. So let's see this with the example. So you can see this is at position zero and this is the head node. So what we need to do is uh, we need to link this start to the next of the current node as this is the current node. So the next of the current node is this n. We need to link this start with this n directly. So this node will be removed and this start now will point to this next node of the current node that is the uh, node n. So this is how we can delete the head node. So this is case number one. The case number two is whenever the position is greater than zero but less than the size of the list. That means the node to be deleted is somewhere in the middle of the list or it is the last node in the list but it's not the head node. In that case we'll find the previous node of the node to be deleted and then the next of the previous node that means the link of the previous node will be converted to the link of the current node that is the next of the current node. So let's understand this with this example. Let's say if you want to delete this uh, particular node which is somewhere in between. So what we need to do is we need to identify the previous of this node and then this link will be converted. The link of the previous will be converted to the link of the current. So we'll copy this link of the current to the link of the previous that means next of the current is now next of the previous and then we will uh, remove this uh, node particular we'll remove this uh, node and now we have a direct link from the previous node to the next node of the current node so this is how the deletion is done right so this is the case number two and the case number three is that the position is greater than the size of the list that means the position is not inside the list. Then we don't have to perform any operation and we'll simply return uh, to the user with some message that the element cannot be found in the list. So let's go and see how we can do this uh, using the Java language in a Java program. So this is a simple Java program like we have done in the previous singly linked list programs. This is a node class with two values data and the link value. This is the constructor that is to initialize the data and the link of the node. So we have this uh, add function that is to add node in the link list. We had already uh, done this video. So you can go and watch my previous video that is specifically for the adding a node in the link list or inserting a node in the link list. And this is the delete node function we are talking in this. So if the head node is null, that means the link is empty. We can simply return the message that the link is empty. Else uh, we will make the head node as our current node. Now the case number one, if the position is equal to zero, that means we need to delete this head node. 
in that case the next of the current will be created the head node and we'll simply return so the next of the current will be the new head node as we had seen in the case number one now for the case number two we need to traverse the length list so we'll begin with the i is equal to zero and we'll go till current is not equal to null we'll move till current is not equal to null that means we have not reached the end of the list so in each case we'll uh, convert this so to traverse we need to uh, make the next node of the current node to the current node that means we are moving from one node to the other node let's say uh, we are moving from this node if this is a current node then in the next step the next of the current which is this will be the current node so we can simply moving like this so uh, in that case and if uh, the current node is still null and the next of the current node is still null that means we have reached to the end of the list and still we could not found the position that means the element is not present in the lay list and this is the case number three so for the case number two we need to go to the next of the previous node and then copy the next of the current node in the next of the previous node that means we need to relink the next of the previous equal to next of the current so this is how we can unlink the deleted node from the list and this is the print list function that we will be using to print the list we can call it twice before deletion and after deletion so this is a simple object of the link list and i'll add a few elements let's say 5 1 7 2 and 9 and then we can print the list and see all the elements are added in the list and now let's delete the node at position number 3 position number 3 so if we'll start with 0 1 2 and 3 so then we'll print this after deletion now let me compile this uh, code and show you the output of this uh, program so let me execute this program and we can see this is the created list with the elements 9 2 7 1 and 5 this is position 0 position 1 2 3 and 4 and we had deleted the element at position number 3 so 0 1 2 and this 3 needs to be deleted so we can see after deletion this is 9 2 7 and 5 that means the element at position number 3 is deleted so this is how we can delete a node in the singly link list whenever the position of the node is known or given I hope so you have understood this concept of the node deletion in the singly link list we will be talking about some more operations on the singly link list like concatenation and reversal of the list in the upcoming videos till then keep watching the video subscribe the channel and hit the like button and do not forget to share the videos in your communities thank you so much